Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is all about the benefits of keeping guinea pigs indoors and the five reasons why I choose to keep my guinea pigs in an indoor cage instead of an outdoor hutch. So especially in the UK, guinea pigs always used to be kept in a hutch and whilst it's more common these days for them to come inside, that traditional way of thinking is still around and pet shops throughout the country still sell and market hutches as the only place that your guinea pig needs to live. And as someone who's been forced to keep my guinea pigs outside in a hutch in the past, when I was finally given the opportunity for them to come inside permanently, it was a no-brainer for me. So if you're considering getting guinea pigs or you're thinking about changing up where they live, then here's my reasons why I wholeheartedly recommend keeping them as indoor pets. And at number one, we have comfort. So guinea pigs are sensitive to changes in temperature and extremes of temperature, just like we are. So cold nights in winter and hot summer days can be uncomfortable and stressful for guinea pigs kept in a hutch outside. Bringing them inside means that immediately they get to live in comfortable, stable temperature and humidities. I think it's also worth pointing out in this one that noises around the house don't generally bother guinea pigs or make them uncomfortable in any way. I think it was on the Blue Cross website I read about guinea pigs have sensitive hearing, therefore they're better to live outside. Having owned guinea pigs for a long time indoors, I can tell you that they are not phased in the slightest by loud noises as soon as they learn that they're not going to cause them any harm. So I can have the vacuum cleaner on really loud right next to the cage, I can have TV and loud music on and they are not bothered and they just carry on about their normal business. Also noises about the house can give them added stimulation and keep them excited and interesting in their surroundings. Which brings us nicely on to reason number two. And this is probably the main reason for me and that's that bringing your guinea pigs inside means you have so many more opportunities to spend time with them, interact with them, learn about their individual personalities and bond and tame them. And a great example of this is when I got my first ever guinea pigs. So we were told by the pet shop, oh get this hutch, put it in a sheltered place outside or you could put it in a garage if you're worried about them getting cold. Then when we adopted these beautiful baby guinea pigs and they they had to go in the hutch, well, they didn't stay there for long. I fell in love with them and I wanted to spend lots of time with them and interact with them and having to go outside to go into the cold dark garage just felt wrong. I wanted them to be part of the family so within about a month I bought an indoor cage for them and they actually lived in my bedroom and I had absolutely zero regrets because as soon as they came inside I could spend more time with them and see what lovely pets they really made. Keeping guinea pigs inside also means that young piggies or very scared or timid piggies will tame easier and they will bond with you quicker. Reason number three is health. So it's easier to spot health problems developing if you're around your guinea pigs more. Take those first piggies as an example. So Ross and Joey both had mite infestations and it wasn't until a good few weeks had passed by and I was spending more time with them once they were inside with me that I realised they were scratching all the time <laughs> and they had mites and it meant that I noticed that and we could get them the treatment from the vet that they needed. Also the risk of developing health problems is minimised if they are kept inside and that's again to do with the changes in temperature. So very cold temperatures might mean that guinea pigs are more susceptible to things like upper respiratory infections and if it's very hot then heat stroke can be a horrible thing for guinea pigs to suffer. Also I still hear stories about people's guinea pigs freezing to death in winter which is so heartbreaking and you think it shouldn't be happening these days but if people are sold a hutch that isn't correctly insulated and they don't take any extra measures to protect the guinea pigs from the cold in winter then it can and still does happen and it's something that's really important to think about if you are going to keep them outside in a hutch. And also for health it's easier to do those regular things like grooming, trimming nails, weighing them, all that kind of stuff if they are more tame and more used to your presence which again comes with keeping them inside. Also a lot of rescues have it in their policies that they won't rehome 
home guinea pigs to outside environments. Maybe something lovely like an insulated shed where they'll get lots of human interactions, but an isolated outside hutch is not the place that rescues want to see their guinea pigs going to live in. Next one's a scary one. So depending on where you are in the world, the risk from predators can be real to your guinea pigs. There's still stories of guinea pigs taken by foxes, snakes and other wild predators. And a lot of hutches sold might not be well proofed enough to keep predators out, which then means you have to do extra DIY to make that hutch secure. And if you live somewhere with a lot of wild animals, it's just the worrying and the thought of it, them being outside in the hutch on their own at night time. If that were me, I wouldn't want to take the risk at all, so I'd avoid that by just bringing them inside. And reason number five is that for me, the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. So I can't completely ignore the reasons why people don't keep guinea pigs inside all the time. It's usually to do with space, mess and smell, or possibly noise. For space, if you live somewhere where there's just no space to keep guinea pigs inside, then think about how you can make the outside space big enough, safe enough, and cozy and warm enough for them. And for me, guinea pigs have basically taken over a whole room in my house, and you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> Things like mess and smell, well it really depends on how often you clean them out and from my experience you need to be cleaning them out every day. They can start to smell if they are overdue a clean out or sometimes it gets a bit whiffy in here if I've not taken out the bin bag but that's to do with me, nothing to do with them. Mess can also be a problem in that hay does pretty much get all over the house <laughs> but cleaning up hay has just become part of my routine and it really doesn't bother me at all. As for noise, I kind of like the noises that the guinea pigs make and I think it's really cute when they're squeaking and begging for food. During the night they can maybe sometimes be at the water bottle and I might hear that but it doesn't really keep me awake. And these are definitely things to think about if you think you might be sensitive to things like hay around the house and a bit of noise at night time but everyone's different. And there is of course definitely a crossover with things like well insulated lovely guinea pig sheds where they've got loads of space and garages where they've got a really nice setup. Also I don't want to give the impression that there are no benefits to guinea pigs being outside. I think there definitely are. I like to go outside on the lawn on warm summer days and it's really nice to see them do that but for me I'd rather have it that way around where they spend most of their time inside, get to spend some time outside versus all of their time outside and they only come in occasionally. Also my advice would be to make your decision based on your own research and the way that you think you'll feel about having guinea pigs and being a guinea pig owner. If you're someone who wants to spend a lot of time with their pets, they want to have guinea pigs that are more like cats and dogs and they're always around, then keeping them inside is a great option for you. And don't be swayed if pet shops or other people are saying, oh well we always used to keep guinea pigs outside, they're fine. Guinea pig care has come a long way and keeping them indoors is definitely something that more and more people are doing and seeing the benefits of. So I hope this video has been useful and you can see why I love keeping my guinea pigs inside. If you enjoyed it then let us know by clicking that like button and if you wish to stay updated with the channel then hit that subscribe button below too. So that's all from us today, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one, bye bye!